Hello folks, all eyes are now on Samsung's next flagship smartphone launch. There have already been countless rumors and reports concerning the Galaxy S23 series. It was already expected that the launch will take place in early 2023. A new report now provides some additional insight. Samsung is reportedly going to conduct a full-fledged unpacked event for the Galaxy S23 launch in San Francisco. This would be the first in-person event since they were put on hold due to the pandemic. Korean media is reporting, citing a Samsung Electronics executive with knowledge of the matter that Samsung Galaxy S23 Unpacked event is going to take place in early February 2023. This event will be held in San Francisco like the ones before it. Samsung's last full-fledged Unpacked event was for the Galaxy S20 series. The source doesn't provide an exact day, but other local reports do mention that the event may take place in the first week of February. Since the Galaxy S22 series was unveiled on February 9, 2020, it's not outside the realm of possibility for its successor to be launched in the claimed time frame. Given that the Galaxy S22, S22 Plus and S22 Ultra went on sale a little over two weeks after their formal announcement, the S23 series could be commercially released on Friday, February 17, 2023. Samsung shifted to virtual unpacked events after the pandemic hit in 2020. It has conducted online launch events for new Galaxy S and Galaxy Z flagships since then. The company did conduct some in -person and experiences for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Galaxy Flip 4 this year, but it's yet to return to full-fledged in-person and parked events. With travel and event restrictions no longer a concern, it may be about time for Samsung to restart its glorious product launch events. Several other reports suggest that the Galaxy S23 may be priced higher than its predecessor due to inflationary pressures. Whether or not that ends up being true remains to be seen. We often hear rumors of price increases for new Samsung flagships before they are launched, so this these reports are just par for the course. After all, February is still more than two months away, which means Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra production has either not started yet or is in an extremely early stage. A lot of things can thus still go wrong before the three bad boys are deemed ready for prime time, so it's certainly not wise to take any days for granted. A slightly longer preparation than initially forecasted by some sources may also allow Samsung to spend more time refining the already leaked designs of the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra and perhaps more importantly, improving the performance of key new components like that potentially game-changing 200 megapixels camera we've heard so much about in the last couple of months. Anyway, the company is making preparations as we speak, as evidenced by a recent visit to the FCC. The Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus have passed through the FCC. The documents found online have confirmed some details about the batteries powering these phones. The base Galaxy S23 model is powered by a battery that has a rated capacity of 3785, which could translate to a typical capacity of 3900 mAh. The battery inside the Galaxy S23 Plus has a rated capacity of 4565, which probably means Samsung will label it with a typical capacity of 4700 mAh. Both phones appear to have been tested by the FCC using 25 watts chargers, but that doesn't necessarily mean that their batteries will be capped at 25. The Galaxy S22 Plus has 45 watts charging, so the Galaxy S23 Plus will probably have the same capabilities. Although the FCC doesn't go into details about other hardware specifications, Qualcomm and online benchmarks have pretty much confirmed that the Galaxy S23 lineup will be powered by the new Snapdragon Agent 2 chipset even in markets where the S flagships usually carried Exynos, and that includes Codes Europe. From that perspective, the next Samsung flagship might be one of most exciting in recent years, especially if the rumors are true and the Galaxy S23 lineup has a custom Snapdragon Agent 2 variant optimized for One UI. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.